Hey guys, what's up, Zach here, and today we're here with a race preview for the next round of the MotoGP season from Bruno. Now, a great race in Indianapolis. Sadly, I didn't get to watch the full race, but I got to watch the highlights, and wow, what a great race, and Mark Marquez pulling some wonderful overtakes on Lorenzo, and getting the move done, and winning the race, and extending his championship lead. I don't think he could have asked for much more that weekend, or last weekend, I should say. He's now leading his teammate, Danny Pedrosa, by 21 points which is nearly a race win and he's doing an incredible job of just consistently getting in the points and he's got on the podium every single race except from his retirement in Mugello where he was on course for a podium but he crashed out so he's so consistent he's been on the podium pretty much every race except from the one I said he just crashed out and he's won three in a row the only person to do so this year to win three in a row is him only one other person has won three races and that's Lorenzo so Mark Marquez in his rookie year has won three races in a row, four in total, and only had one retirement and been on the podium all of the rest of the times. So he's just having the most incredible season. But the fact that Pedroza and Lorenzo are just, you know, they're about the, just about there is quite astonishing considering their injuries they've had. But what a crazy season it has been so far in such a close and crazy championship. Coming into Bruno, we've got to expect a lot of great action as well. And I think it is just going to be that. And it's a great track. I've driven it before. And I can't wait to see the, the action this weekend alongside the Formula 1. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to see the racing out on track. So let's go and have a look at what happened last year and see if we can decide anything from that. Last year, Danny Pedrosa got the win over Jorge Lorenzo by two tenths of a second. And that is just completely mind-boggling that two tenths of a second separates five points in the championship. Cal Crutchlow got a podium last year in third position and Davizioso got fourth. Brado did quite well last year, up there in fifth position. Maybe he's coming here looking for another strong result after getting a podium a couple of weekends back and obviously being very consistent this year. Bautista, Rossi, Depunier, Abraham and Aspargro were the top ten. And in Moto2, it was a, such a close race. Only six hundredths of a second between Mark Marquez, the winner, and second place, Thomas Luti. I think we can expect some extremely close racing this weekend. Will that only be two riders? Will that be three, four, five riders? Who knows? It's going to be extremely close. Even if it's the battle for maybe eighth or ninth position, there'll be extremely close racing throughout. And I think that is great about this track, that it can provide such great racing. Moto2 and Moto3, as always, will be supporting and some great races from them no doubt some really close racing in Moto3 the last couple of races and really exciting stuff from the Moto2 people as well with Scott Redding still leading the championship there obviously lots of British people cheering him on and hopefully he's going to be able to get some sort of great ride in MotoGP next year I think he's already confirmed that he's in MotoGP next year however I don't think he has confirmed what team he is at but yeah, it's looking like an absolutely great weekend's worth of racing. Who would put anything against Mark Marquez getting the win? But I'm going to put my money on Jorge Lorenzo getting the win this weekend. I think he's been trying extremely hard the last couple of weekends to keep it on the track and just score some solid points, which he has done so. But I think this could be his chance to get his championship back on track. And I really hope so as well, because it would be great to see a great squabble between Pedroza, Lorenzo and Marquez for the championship. Maybe Rossi and Crutchlow, who knows, it'll be interesting to see. Um, you can see there, just hopping over the curbs to try and get around, um, I think that's a Spargo. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. In the comment section, I'd really love if you can leave some comments about who you think is going to have a good shot at the win here this weekend. And maybe also leave some comments about who you think might not do so well. So yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. I appreciate it massively. I've got a MotoGP career mode coming up shortly within a couple of days. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. Hopefully you enjoy the content to come between then and now. But yeah, thanks for watching. It's been Axe, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.